and today I want to do a video talking about um, the new color pencils, the Magic Wand Pencils by Jane Davenport. And you may have seen this is a new line that Michaels is carrying. Um, and Jane Davenport does a lot of mixed media type projects. And so I wanted to start picking up some of her products and see how they perform um, for what I'm using them for. I mainly use my art products for Bible art journaling or just art journaling. Um, a little bit in my planner and some card making. I'm not doing any big fancy um, mixed media type products or you know projects or fine art projects. So heads up, that's kind of where I'm looking at it from is just a more casual use. So um, I've seen these compared to the Prismacolor pencils. They I uh, picked up the 24 count Prismacolors. There are well over a hundred Prismacolors, but I just wanted to pick up. Um, the same number as what's in the Jane Davenport. And then as I started comparing these, I thought I would pull out the Crayola Twistable Pencils. I have the 30 count. These are very common in Bible art journaling. These are something that I recommend in most of my classes as just a great option for a colored pencil if that's what you wanna use in your journaling. Now, I don't really use a lot of colored pencil work in my Bible. I mainly use watercolor, but I did wanna get on here and um, review these because I know some people have been having questions about whether they're worth picking up or not. So um, let's just go ahead and dive in. I'll start by comparing um, these two here just because that's where I had kind of started when I was putting together the video. So looking at the swatches, there's the 24 count Prismacolor, the 24 count Jane Davenport. And one thing you'll notice is that the colors are slightly different between the two um, packages. So at the end of the video, what it really comes down to is which package is going to have the colors that you are more drawn to. Um, performance wise, I found them all pretty comparable. So um, what I did was this is how they're lined up in the Jane Davenport tin. And then I tried to kind of match up the Prismacolor pencils with the Jane Davenport pencils. So you could kind of see what you're getting in each of the containers. Now, one thing to know is Jane Davenport has um, a few more skin tone colors than the Prismacolor pencils. Now that I imagine is because she does a lot of these um, kind of girls, mermaids, things like that in her artwork. And so she's drawing a lot of people. So she has a lot more skin tones um, in her pencils. So that's something to consider. Um, one thing I kind of noticed, I think the Jane Davenport colors are more of the uh, trendy colors that are kind of on trend right now with you know unicorns and just those pastel colors and things like that. Not to say that these are pastel because they're pretty vibrant, but just kind of the tone of the colors is the colors that are on trend. So looking at Prismacolor pencils, there's a brighter, more vibrant kind of standard color. So it's just really gonna be what you prefer. Another thing to note is the Jane Davenport 24 count comes with two different grays, a cool gray and a warm gray. The 24 count Prismacolor doesn't come with any grays at all. So that um, for me, I, you know, I would rather have the grays than no grays. So. Uh, the black is a little bit stronger with the Prismacolor than it is with the Jane Davenport. Now her names are super cute. All The whole line really gets me because the packaging is cute, the naming is cute, all of it is just cute. So I mean if that's your thing, that's what drew me to her stuff. Um, so she's called this Raven. So I'm not quite sure that this is meant to be 100% black um, because it has a little bit of brown tones to it. So it may be that this isn't meant to be a true black. You know, I'm not quite sure on that, but it is definitely not as black as Prismacolor. So another big difference is the white in the two sets. So what I did is I went ahead and just inked down a heart with just some black ink and then colored over it with a white pencil from each kit. The Prismacolor pencil you can see kind of mutes down that black. The unicorn pencil, you can't hardly see a difference over that pen. So the white, and you'll go to see in some of the other swatches I have, the white just is not a very good strong white, but I don't use light uh, or use white very frequently, so that doesn't really make a difference to me. Um, I'm loving this like 70s eyeshadow color, uh, feather, mystic, this flamingo color. There's just some really great on-trend colors in this kit. Um, not quite as strong, so like this indigo blue is super dark. Ink isn't quite as dark as indigo blue, but I mean, it's just really gonna be kind of your preference for colors, so. Um, one thing I will say, 
Um, these are, she says, are meant to be soft enough that they are blendable and smooth and easy to use, but hard enough that they don't fall apart and crumble and difficult to sharpen like the Prisma colors can be. Um, what you'll notice is all I used the Jane Davenport pencils were for prepping for this video. So I just did some swatches and things like that. Um, and this pencil here, what happened was I sharpened it, it broke, sharpened it, it broke, and then sharpened it again. So that's why it's quite a bit shorter. Now you'll notice that same color in my Prismacolors did the same thing. So it must be the qualities of the pigment in that particular color that is just really soft and apt to crumbling. So I don't think that's a fault of the Jane Davenport. I think that's more just the color because I have that same problem with my Prismacolors. So another thing to note is that the colors don't 100% match what they are on the outside. So this feather looks like it would be lighter than mystic but they aren't so yes yeah, so feather is the darker color and mystic is the light color which is reversed here so you can't just go off the colors that the outside of the paint is it's good to do a swatch but that's i mean i find that with a lot of other products too so um and then swatches of the um these are the crayola twistables so i thought i'd just throw those in there um, just so you could kind of see you are getting kind of a mix between Prismacolor and Jane Davenport. So these are the Prismacolor pencils. Um, you can see these aren't quite as vibrant and deep as the Prismacolors, but they're not as soft as the Prismacolors. So you're not getting as good of a payoff of color as you are with the Prismacolors. Now with the Jane Davenport, um, they are pretty comparable into vibrancy and quality of the color. So um, like this Mystic and Wisteria are pretty close. Um, aqua green and 70s eyeshadow or even the emerald are pretty close so you kind of get a good mix this is 30 as opposed to the 24 count though so that's one thing to note uh, Crayola's definitely aren't nearly as soft as the other two but I mean Crayola twistables are a kid quality um, art product as opposed to these other products so um, that's just you know kind of the differences there um, when we start looking um, on here, this is where you start to kind of see the differences. So uh, on craft card stock, here's the Prismacolor, the Jane Davenport, and the Crayola Twistables. All pretty vibrant. Prismacolor, you know, is more vibrant than the rest. I kind of come to expect that. That's Prismacolor. They're meant to be an artist quality pencil. Um, when you really start to see the difference here is in the whites. So here's the Prismacolor white. The Jane Davenport white is significantly different. There is not very much pay off with the white. It doesn't really show up very well on the craft. Now surprisingly the Crayola Twistable does really well. The Crayola Twistable white is comparable to the Prismacolor in intensity. Now the Prismacolor is really soft and buttery. The Crayola Twistable is not quite as buttery and soft as Prismacolor but um, that's you know again just different quality of pencil. So um, on the black same thing. Here's the white here big difference but now I don't use the white very much so I that doesn't really destroy that palette for me because the white isn't very strong I'm not using it very often for that and um, now if you're doing some of her you know mixed media where you're doing that white over the top of you know other colors and things like that well then that might bother you if the white isn't super intense or you may not want a super intense white that just kind of is going to be your preference so again the colors are a little more uh, toned back than the prisma colors and that could just be the color palette of the jane davenport i don't know that's necessarily um, a quality issue of the pigment uh, i just think that's a color difference so but you can see the crayola twistables perform pretty well um, not, you know, the darker colors don't stand out nearly as well as some of the darker colors in the more expensive pencils, um, but they still hold their own for, you know, a cheapy pencil. So, um, price wise, what you're going to see is the Jane Davenport, uh, retail for $24.99 at Michael's Prisma colors. I just found online for $16.35 at Walmart. That's not a sale price. That's just the price they are listed at. Um, I bought mine at Walmart for, I want to say, right around $19. So, 
And the nice thing about Jane, Jane Davenport's is at Michael's you can use a coupon. So I used a 40% off coupon and got them for um, right around $14. So then that puts them cheaper than the Prisma colors. So Crayola, of course, $9.99 for 30 of them. You can't beat that. So if you're just wanting a very casual pencil to use, but is better than just the dollar store, you know, kind of pencils, Crayola is the way to go. Um, I think the Jane Davenport, if you've got a coupon, is great. If you don't have a coupon, I don't. I think that I would go with the Prismacolor pencils um, for that price. So. Um, here's where we really start to see the difference is when you start playing with them on top of other products and with different uh, techniques and things like that. So if you're just going to straight color in an image, I don't think it really matters. I think you need to just look at the colors that you like and go from there. But if you're going to be using these pencils with other things or over the top of other things, then this is where you see the difference. So here are the Prismacolor, here are Jane Davenport, and then the Crayolas I threw in um, at the end here. So. For these first ones here, all I did was just a simple dry blend between two colors, um, kind of a greenish blue and a blue. You'll see both of those blended pretty well. I had to work a little bit harder with Jane's, but not horribly so. These were both just light pressure and quite a few layers, but probably the same amount of layers between the two. Um, there's just a little streakiness, but that's... I mean, that color has some hardness to it, so that, that's not a surprise. So good, I would say, equal blend between the two of those. Um, Crayola Twistables, you don't get as good of a blend. A um, little bit fuzzier of a color, um, but again, those are just Crayola pencils. So if you're wanting to do shading and things like that, then the Crayolas may not be the perfect choice for you. You may want to start looking into some of the more expensive pencils. Um, here's if you're going to be using... Um, like baby oil. I don't use mineral, like a mineral spirit. It's a Gamasol. I don't use Gamasol just because it's not totally healthy. So, um, and this isn't a technique that I've really tried out in my Bible yet because I'm afraid to use an oil in my Bible, but I thought that you could see how the pigment dissolves. So what I did is I went ahead and colored the heart in just very lightly, a few layers um, all across the heart. And then I took a paintbrush and just a little bit of baby oil and put it on half of the heart so you could see the color really just dissolves beautifully in the Prismacolor pencils. Um, this Mystic color, I love this color, but the quality of the pencil is just, it's a little bit harder, a little bit streakier, a little bit more difficult to work with. Um, and that's not across the board with her pencils. It's just certain colors I've found are like that. So you can see it doesn't quite completely dissolve beautifully like the Prismacolor does, but I mean, and that just might be the color because when you come over here, this is the same technique with this deeper blue color. And you can see this one, you know, did well, just as well as the Prismacolor did, blending with baby oil. So I think it's just some of the colors. Um, but then you can see, you know, it's a little bit scratchy with the color, was it indigo in Prismacolor? So, you know, that's, you see that there. Um, so I would say these are equal. Um, I didn't try the baby oil method with the, Crayola Twistables, I didn't quite uh, get to that, but um, with the paint. Now this is something that Jane um, specifically puts on the packaging for her pencils is that they are great working over acrylic paint. So what I did is I just took some acrylic paint. This is paint you can find from Target. It's a satin uh, finish. Put down a layer of that and then colored over the top of the pencils. Both the Prismacolor and the Jane Davenport pencils worked beautiful over the top of the paint. I had no problems with um, the color changing, chunkiness, nothing like that. I mean, they worked just fine over the paint. Crayolas do not work well over the paint. It was streaky. It started to separate. It was weird. It was almost like a hot pink color coming through from the pencil. Um, so these don't work well over um, the paint. So... And that's something, you know, a lot of us use acrylic paint in our Bibles. And so if you wanted to do that and then use uh, colored pencils, you wouldn't be able to do that with the Crayolas, but you could do that with um, the Prismacolor and the Jane Davenport pencils. Um, over here, I used clear gesso. So a lot of us use clear gesso in our Bible pages to prevent bleed through and things like that. So I wanted to see how it performs. And if you're looking at this as a mixed media product also, you know, you're using gesso quite a bit in mixed media. So I went ahead and just put a thin layer of gesso down and then colored over. I will say that the Jane Davenport pencils, I think, perform better 
than either one over the gesso. And I'll say they even perform better over the gesso than just on plain paper. I feel like just a little bit of toothiness in the gesso really pulled that color out well um, and better than it does on the smooth cardstock. So that was worth, worth noting that it really was um, performed very well on the gesso. And Crayola Twistable surprisingly did very well over the gesso as well. So all three of those did pretty, pretty well. Um, here I did a layer of clear gesso and then a dry layer of peach colored gelato. So a lot of us like to use gelatos in our mixed media, in our Bible journaling, things like that. So, and this is a little bit, it's a water-based pigment, so it dissolves with water, but it is a little bit waxy. So, uh, I have some difficulty going over the top of these with other products. So I wanted to see how those performed with that. Uh, no problems. Um, both Prismacolor and the uh, Jane Davenport did pretty well over the gelatos. Um, there was a little bit of kind of muted, but really it wasn't wasn't too bad. The Crayola Twistables also did surprisingly well over the gelatos. So um, this is a little bit different of a color than what was used up here, but they all three did really well over the gelato, which I was surprised. I thought it being, you know, waxy that it would have difficulty, but it didn't. So, um, looking at it in your Bible, they perform all pretty equally on a Bible page. So this is the Jane Davenport. This is the Prismacolor and this is the Crayola Twistable. You can see all three, you know, you really can't tell the difference between the three of them in your Bible. And bleed through you know it's a pencil it shouldn't bleed through so and no they're shadowing but no bleed through so um overall i would say that if you've got a coupon and you really enjoy the colors in the jane davenport pick them up if you don't have a coupon um i would go with the prisma colors now not all walmarts carry the prisma colors but i found with the adult coloring book craze these are really becoming easier to find so I think it's going to come down to color preference between these two. You know, which palette of colors? I will say Prismacolor does have open stock. So if you go to dickblick.com, you can order singles of the Prismacolor pencils. You can't with Jane Davenport. So that's something else to consider. You could start with, you know, a tin of the Prismacolors and then just buy the individual colors that you like um, from Jane's line, you know, color-wise if you wanted. Um, still, I think the bang for your buck is the Crayola Twistables. If you're not doing anything super fancy, I'm not doing elaborate portraits to go on a wall or anything like that. Um, these are great for just kind of a casual use if you're wanting to look into getting to just a better quality colors and blending and things like that, then you know look at these two. But I think it's really just gonna come down to color preference between the two. So if you have any questions about these products, leave a comment down below and I will try to answer it. If you have suggestions of other products from the line that you would like to see and would like me to test out, leave a comment. I definitely can't afford to buy all of Jane's products. I wish I could, um, but I'm definitely interested in the mermaid markers, the ink credible pen. I want to see how that works and maybe the watercolors. So leave some uh, questions down below and I'll be sure to answer those. Also check the description bar. I leave links to all products that are shown in my videos and links to different websites that I like to use. So, and be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can be updated on any videos that I have coming out in the future. So uh, until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.